I'm running a bit short on time, so this is going to be a quick and dirty, oversimplified explanation of multidimensional indexes. We already know what an index is, and we already know they can be placed on any column. We also know that when we create a primary key, an index is also automatically created. When we have more than one column in a primary key, or in other words, a composite key, we now have a multidimensional index. We can also create a multidimensional index through concatenation. Essentially, this means we are creating one index across multiple columns. Keep in mind, when creating a concatenated index, you want to be very careful in how you choose the column order. We want to make sure that it can be used as often as possible. So are they useful? Absolutely. There are some situations in which you'll have no choice but to use multidimensional indexes. For example, a geographical information system may need to store two points, longitude and latitude, in a two-dimensional space. This is one instance where multidimensional indexes are invaluable. We can now use partial match queries, range queries, nearest neighbor queries, and where am I queries to manipulate our data. A more recent development exists with data cube systems. If we have multidimensional data being collected for a variety of companies, it is common for an analyst to query groups of data and then summarize the groups via an aggregation. An example could be to select the sales of used cars for each dealership in each month of 2013. It's not much different than what we've been doing, but think of it on a much larger corporate scale. That being said, use a single index solution if you can. The fewer the indexes, the better the insert, update, and delete performance. This video doesn't explain as much as my other submissions. That being said, this topic can get very in-depth. There are research papers that describe how multidimensional indexes traverse among bee trees in order to return data, but that is way outside the scope of this video. Just remember that if you have multidimensional data, or if you find yourself using queries with multiple conditions in your where statement, a multidimensional index may be a good solution for you.